Right, hello there. Uh, this is uh, an unboxing of box number two of um, items that I bought from my good buddy Curtis from across the pond. The parcel arrived uh, a couple of hours ago. So I'll do an unboxing. I did an unboxing of the first one. So I'll do an unboxing of this one. I've just taken the mailing label off because there's no need for anybody to be able to see that. And uh, the box doesn't look as if it's been tampered with. It got here six days door to door, which I reckon is pretty damn impressive. Um, followed it all the way through on uh, USPS tracking, so no problem there. Uh, it, and it continues to track even when it's in the UK, right, right to my door. It's a damn sight better system we've got here with a Royal Mail. So, right, let's that open. I shall put that knife away before I slice my fingers open. And so, we've got a box of newspaper. Let's this out the way. First thing we come to is a bag of all sorts. Let's uh, let's pull that box out of the way. Can you see? I want this. Get what's in it out. There's more bags within bags. These are, uh, let me see, strong points, breastworks, fieldworks, whatever you want to call them. There's a selection of them. That's a back full of them here. Look at a couple more. Also, yeah, these are larger ones. Perfect. Uh, we've got some uh, animals as well. We've got some sheep there. He did say we were going to send some animals. So there's a bag of certainly some sheep in it. Look. Sheep in there. Uh, oh, yeah, there's at least one cow I can see in there. So we've got some cattle. Right, and the rest of them are all breastworks as well, so I'll put them, put them back. And let's see what's in another bag. We've got a small bag here. I'll keep this in camera so you can see. Ah, these are wall sections of wall. The light's not great in here, is it? I me, mean, well, it's not much better, but a little bit. So sections of wall, and there's a few in there, and there as well as just general mounds of rocks. You know, I'd be better. If I can help me on bloody light, wouldn't I? If I come here, that's better. Right, so we've got them. And so there's a bag, bag of them. And as you can see from here, this, this is a bag full of breastworks, etc., fieldworks. There's loads of them. Some are in fence form, some are in air form. There's the cattle and the, the sheep. This one, we've got looks like barbed wire and stuff in here. Yeah, so we've got a truck. Obviously, a broken down, bro damaged truck. I made it into a strong point with some uh, barbed wire there in the ta trailer. That's an excellent piece, that one. 
various pieces of barbed wire. Again, lovely jubilee. Um, yep, yeah, it's all barbed wire, I think. In here, strong points, what's this one? This one's a bit thicker. Ah, there's a bit of all sorts here. There's barbed wire, uh, timber, some crates there. Yeah, a bit of everything on that one. So, yep, yeah, good, uh, good selection there. Went back. Keep them all together. Now, this is the last bag that was in the big bag. Oh, these are look. Oh, I know what these are. These are the hair ricks. I don't have any of these, so this will be a fair. Yeah. Different size hair ricks. And uh, a small ruined wall on a oval base. That's a nice little piece. And various sized hair ricks. Real good. Perfect for my uh, France, Normandy. Alright, All right. let's get another bug out. Right, so these are just sprues. A couple of sprues in there. Of tanks. Or a tank, I'm not sure what sort of tank it is. It'll no doubt stay on it somewhere. Uh, Battle front. Oops, it's uh, I found all the codes, but I can't find what it says. It is. But whatever it is, it looks like there's two of them, two identical sprues there, and another two. I think so. Four. I'm thinking the stugs actually they look. They look a bit like stug with that that, that side armor. These plates. Um, so I'm thinking it's probably, they're probably four stugs. Uh, we've got another bag full of hedges, walls and all sorts here. And this is cramped to the brim. Now there's everything in here, ain't there? We've got bits of wall. That's a load of fortifications. Short lens, different lens, got long lens, got bits of twig, fallen trees, bit of a picket fence going on there, wall with a gateway. More walls, different types. Got a wall there with coping stones on the top and then your standard stone wall again. Faded in this bag. We've got some hedges, hedgerows. And there's lots of them. This this bag is absolutely Crammed full of walls, hedges, stone walls, oh, everything. So I put them, put them all back. Oh, even a bit of twig from uh, no doubt Curtis's yard. That's come all the way from Pennsylvania. Where you I'm in for a shock? You live in in the action now. Heavy, got some metal in here. Right, I can see straight away that there's uh, there's uh, decals. Various decals there. Gun or a large gun of some type with a German crew barrel to it, I think. Two guns, is it? Yeah, two guns in there. Probably eight to eight, maybe something else. Can't keep them on camera. And the crew.
Ruhe Mikro. Parkbewegung. Noch für uns hören. Mokro Membel. Troops. Jetten wir den mal hoch zu gehen. Ah, these are in banks, so we'll tell what these are. Dead and wounded and stretcher teams. Dead and wounded and stretcher teams. So I've got two bags of uh, potential casualties and stretcher teams, should I need them. Well, some of these have come loose in the bag, so I'm not going to go digging them out. But more, me more metal figures. Like a, yeah, looks like an artillery piece uh, with the, uh, the old style solid wheels. And there's some loose figures under the bag, but I'm not going to get them out because I don't want to lose them. So these can all go back in there. I'm going to keep them all together. Yeah, this is packed in like this for a reason, that's to keep them all together. So I'll keep them like that. There's still more to go. You know what we've got here? Oh, these are just standard. Clock bases for frames of war, so always on all the bases. Very clever, well done boy. The bag split, that's why. What we got here? Metal. I guess. Get that one off. Good job it landed on the carpet. Now we've got uh, A German uh, self-propelled gun there, it's on the track and it's guns in this bag. So that'll go on the other side. Like that, that goes back in there. And another one somewhat similar. And if that's, I'll put them to one side because that needs a new, another bag of them, I'm not dropping them again. And uh, a trapped truck that looks more modern than that did he did he use stuff like that in the second world war i can't say the uh, i can't say it i don't i don't know possibly but anyway got one right another bag what we've got in here we have got I painted figures here. Let's get some of these out. Some painted figures. German, I think. I'm not 100% sure because I really need to look under me under decent light and. Decent pair of glasses, these aren't the right glasses what I'm wearing. But yeah, they look like German. So there's a back full of painted there with these bases. And some more there, they're metal and they've been painted as well. So we'll have a close look at them later. This is a, a base with a Chap on there, leaving a bit, but we'll sort that out. Ah, and we've got a well. Back to the old desert stuff here. That'll do nicely. Put him in there. Put him in there. Right. It still, it still it goes on. Another bag full of buildings and walls and things. Right, more wall with uh, dress stone this time with uh, capping stones on them. So that's a different type of wall. Yeah, another one. Got gatehouse there. Pieces 
more walls in there. Corner pieces of walls. Yeah. Put one back. That gatehouse has been in a few Napoleonic battles. And if the gatehouse is here, I'm up in that church. Here. Nice. Yeah, I was told I'm going to need scissors for these parcels. So, make a voice scout. I'm prepared. ones as well, bit of a bent barrel there, you can see this, yeah just about, I'm going to unroll these bags, these vehicles keep appearing, got a track there, side skate or something, bent barrel, that's okay, so we're getting a fair few good quality heavy metal camouflage German vehicles. Oh yeah, with a driver, a commander out, not a driver. So we've got five of them, the stugs, one's lost its uh, part of its side plate, camouflage is on there, that's brilliant. I have got a, I have got a piece here, which has no doubt come off, which will go back on one of them. So there's five stugs, and we've got two of these. No doubt the barrels for them, the turrets will be somewhere else, so I'll move, move them to the back. I'm getting quite a collection of tanks there. Let's see what else we've got. There. That piece there, absolutely superb. This thing is featured in so many battles, and now it lives over here where it's going to feature in a lot more battles. Yeah, and a proper iconic piece for anybody. Tabletop commanders who have played online battles will recognise this church. Beautiful. Right, we'll put that somewhere, it's not going to be. And of course, we've got a, the, uh, the house there, uh, the uh, barn house, whatever, with the old uh, beams and uh, thatched roof. That's brilliant. Right, we've still got a bit more to go. Um, more bag. Turrets. Don't mind if it's done, but that's broken off. That's in here. That's no problem. That can be fixed. In fact, 
I'll put that turret on one of them tanks, like so. Straight, straight the barrel a bit. And the other one, the other tank, I'm going to keep it in this bag with a barrel. Don't want them to be separated. But I'll keep it with the tank. And we've got some infantry. A motorcycle. Can you see this? I'm hoping you can. I'm getting in the bloody way again. Motorcycle. Great stuff. Yeah, German command group. Various ones with the. Uh, the Panzer Shrek, Panzer Faust, another command group. Lovely. And some singles. All painted. Right, I'll put them over there. This feels like some more of the same. Yeah, it is. These look like to be. These are all single mounted. Again, Germans by the looks of it, I think. I'm saying that, let me look closer. Actually, these might be Americans. Yes, I think these are Americans actually. I wish I had me the classic one. Stop the damn weight again. Yeah, I think these are Americans. I'll be able to tell when I look at this later in the, on my computer screen. I tell you, as you get older and your eyesight starts to go, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's US. So we've got some more US all painted up. They're all single based, so this is all looks like Germans. More vehicles. Again, we've lost the machine gun there. This one, it should be the other way around, shouldn't it? Which is a wheeled German vehicle, is it Puma? I'm not quite sure. A Puma or something like that. Got another wheeled vehicle. This one. Must have a turret with it somewhere. Actually, oh no, that turret's close with that one, I think. We have got this one, American. I think that last one was the American one as well. We have got this one, another one of them Puma type things with a moving uh, turret. Uh, German half track with machine gun. Got the bits of stuff on, got the gear up, stored outside the crew compartment there, the old camouflage. And the final one is this one with the uh, track, so it's another half track. It's got a cover over it, it's got a tap over the over the top so yeah excellent and that machine gun yeah, right, let's put that with that and move that down there with that other arm and a few repairs to do but that's fine yeah, they've, they've travelled a long bloody way right we've got some Bare metal pieces there, uh, another brown bag. 
found another brown bag. So let me get out of here. What have we got in here? Yeah, there is the motor positions. say with in my glass I'm gonna say American but I'm not hundred percent sure but there's motors and all sorts there. Like more figures. Ah. ah aircraft I have got the bases, the stands for these, but uh, now I've got the uh, actual aircraft. I'm painting one. Um, looking at it from the front there. I was going to say Stoker, but I'm not 100% sure because it's got no fixed wheels, so it's probably not. It's probably another bomber of some description. Um, but there is some metal parts in here, so obviously they go with it. So we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm assuming this is the American fighter. This is it again. Thunderbolt, the flying jug. So that's good, a couple of aircraft. Right. Oh, we've got another one here. What's we all got in here? No idea. Christmas this, come early. You want me to don't need your scissors, catches in your bloody hand. You pack if you don't buckle about there. post on it so that's obviously what that is an observation post I 
again with Germans. Old Bear's painted, brilliant. There's a fair few in here as well. It's looking at certainly more than a squad, probably a probably a full platoon, maybe even more. They still keep coming. And of course, a couple of artillery pieces. There's two of those. So we've got them, and what appears to be at least a full platoon of the German troops. Now we're coming to other stuff. Oh, what we got here? We've got uh, a metal kit partly built. Again, another German, another German um, self-propelled gun of some description. Is it an elephant or something like that? Or, I don't know the names of them all. So we've got something like that. But that's another one to go to the collection. And then we start coming to cars for Blucher, or Blucher, whichever way we want to pronounce them. These are the uh, Russian cars. I have the uh, 100 days, so I have the British and the French, Spanish, is it, and then Portuguese, I think. Uh, uh, oh no, I've got the, the Peninsula one as well, as well as the 100 days. So I've got more, but I didn't have the Russian cars. So now we have, so I'm pleased about that, I answered them. Because they're so difficult to get now, we, we have to have them printed on demand I think. And then we've got two sets of cards for Longstreet. The book Longstreet. Now, it, I've not played Longstreet before, but a lot of you know I do do American Civil War, and it is by Sam Mustafa. And it's, the layout is a lot like you see in in Blucher, Blucher. So I'm hoping to play this game. Well, not hoping to, I will be. And for it, each player needs a pack of cards, and that's a complete card set. This one's open, that one's still in its shrink. Put the top off without dropping them all off. So you get all these things terrain cards, action cards, which you, you, you can play with various things in. You've got numbers on them which um, I think you can use to recover lost points, you know, for somebody who's losing a lamb, that type of thing. Um, and various other things what you can use. So, brilliant. Um, if you're playing for more than one player, which is obviously advisable, each player needs a pack. So, you need two decks of cards, which I do have. And in the box, what's that snug there? There's a bit of plastic there, I don't know that managed to get in there, but it's a, a base of some description. No, it's empty. And the last thing in the box, something you care to I've not seen this, this is something you to study was going to throw in. Um, Cairnstown, first Cairnstown, March the 28th, 1862. Second Cairns Town, July 24th, 1864, American Civil War, Volume 4. So we're looking at a Hex Encounter type game, which I shall um, have a good look at and see what I can do with it. We've got 
decent sized rule book. Combat results to balls. It's all very clean and pristine. Being well looked after. More hits and bits. Let's have a look at this map. Looks to be a fairly big one. Sandy Rouge, quite big hexes. Lovely artwork in it on this. Richards Hill. No, it's not Richards Hill, not Richards. Oh yeah, and it's quite large. Now again, something like this, not only useful for a game like this, you can use it in a campaign of your own, if you were doing that type of area. And an unpunched set of counters, so it has indeed never been played. So we've got the Battle of Cairnstown, second Battle of Cairnstown backs and fronts. Probably I think counts as them. I thought there was two feet there. And the Battle of Hairst Cairnstown front and back. And would you believe, okay, this has actually sent me a couple of dice here. I've been ripping him about, he sends me all this stuff, he never sends me any bloody dice, well he sent me a couple now. So that's great, well thanks for that case, that's, uh, that's a game I will certainly look at and uh, see if I can uh, get it to the table. So that's it, the box is now empty, as you can see there's a whole load of swag. Here, there's more on top of the computer there with the uh, painted minis on stands. There's all the armour there. I've got my long street and the packs of cards. I've got the blue cards. This ball game and this whole slew of walls and buildings and aircraft. I don't know that aircraft up there, I don't want to damage it. Um, brilliant, absolutely superb. Um, very pleased with it. Um, so thanks Curtis, very very pleased and uh, of course I'll be able to put all this to use in the very near future. Alright everybody, thanks for watching that, it might have been a bit boring but um, it wasn't for me because it's like Christmas morning here. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you again soon, bye for now.